Hey everybody, Jay Shockblast here, and uh, today we are going to take a look at the uh, Xbox Smart Glass app uh, that is finally available on the iPhone. Uh, it's been available on the Surface and the uh, iPad and Android phones for a few days now, um, but it has now today, literally within the last couple hours, been uh, made available on on the uh, iPhone. Um, it's funny, I found myself in a little bit of a predicament because I have an iPhone, um, not because I'm a super I Apple fanboy, but just because it's what I happen to have. Um, I also have a Nexus 7 tablet as I, I sort of shift my phone. So what's frustrating me is if you go into the Google Play App Store, um, it's not compatible with the Nexus 7, which is really subscri uh, is really surprising to me because you know this is the flagship device for uh, for Android at the moment. It's really the one that they're pushing. You know they're going to have the Nexus 10 at some point here soon. So uh, pretty much all these one star ratings are from people that that can't get it on uh, random Android devices. Don't know why they're behind. Uh, but they are, and uh, can't do really anything about that. So uh, I am pretty excited, uh, though, that we do have it now for the iPhone, so I can finally use it. And um, it is actually replacing the My Xbox Live app. Uh, so it is now the uh, Smart Glass app uh, completely replaces it, and um, you know, it's a lot like what what we had with the uh, with the My Xbox Live app. So I just connected to Smart Glass on my uh, my Xbox. It was really uh, super seamless. So uh, that was pretty cool. Um, really, what it'll do is it'll just kind of show you, you know, shows you my avatar. I can click here and see my friends that are online. You know, it tells you who's online, what they're doing. You know, lots of people playing Halo 4, which is pretty much what I've been doing as well. So, shows all my offline people. And we go back to Xbox. So, this is the dashboard. Dashboard welcomes you. Alright, we'll use the back button. It even makes the Xbox noises. I can check my messages. All the crazy messages that I get. So, yeah. This guy just you know, didn't get the point. Um, anyway, so there's that. And then I can set up beacons if I really want to. I can change my avatar right here on the fly. Change my style. You can change headwear, not that I'm going to. Uh, so it shows you all the different headwear that I have. If I really wanted to, I could go ahead and change my Red Sox hat to my Bruins hat. And just like that, got my Bruins hat. But they aren't going to be playing this season. Or maybe they will, so I'm going to go back to my Red Sox hat. Anyway, check mark, got that. So I can change my style again and go. The only reason I'm going into the tops is because I think I just unlocked like a Halo 4, yeah. This right here. Just unlock this in Halo 4. UNSC Infinity. So, hit the X, stick with Borderlands, get out of here. So, you get the point. Uh, you can change the avatar, all that good stuff. Uh, what is this? Press this, I can change my profile. I really want to so all that right there but uh, that's really just part of it it'll show you you know recent games you know what I've done recently what I've played recently show you all my achievements uh, if I want to search I can get here and search my collection all right so then you can discover I I have like 
$25 in Voodoo credits, so I might end up just getting The Amazing Spider-Man because I kind of want to watch it. Um, shows you all sorts of stuff you can discover, just their recommendations, and boom, all that. So, the main event is the Xbox Smart Glass Remote. So, now, by kind of swiping the screen, I can control everything that goes on on my Xbox. I can bring up the menu. Uh, that brings up the search. All right, brings me out of search. Made that mistake. Um, so that's pretty cool. It's pretty responsive. Um, you know, just let you. Uh, <laughs> I'm watching the TV screen and not the camera as I tilt. Uh, so it's pretty responsive. Uh, pretty cool. And then, last but certainly not least. Uh, don't hold your hand or finger down on it. So, double tap will let me select to load up Halo 4. And as that is loading, let's watch what the screen is going to do. It is going to say, holy cow. We're playing Halo, so we're going to load up Halo Waypoint on the phone. So the game's loading behind me, and it is pulling up my service record. I'm not a really big Halo person, um, but, you know, it's out, so I figured I might as well get it. Um, you know, it tells you my rank, how much XP I have going on. I, I'm not going to play very much multiplayer. Um, I am very much into co-op. Um, I've played all the levels. I don't... Uh, the War Games custom is literally just me screwing around trying to get achievements. Um, I thought I had finished two full levels, but uh, it tells me... Well, it'll tell me if I go into here that I probably only completed one. Completed one. So... Nothing co-op. Found no terminals, no challenges. Completed dawn. So yeah, it gives you lots of information. Tells you what you do, what I've done by, you know, type, so... 19 melee kills. Killed 31 grunts, 25 storm grunt, 14 jackal rangers, so that's pretty cool. Um, go back out here. Brings up all this information Spartan Ops. Yeah, tells you all my info about Spartan Ops. Looks like there's some video. Or not. <laughs> Just thinking about it. Yeah, here we go. So apparently I have to tell it that I'm old enough. I mean, does anybody ever enter real information for this? I mean, I'm very clearly above 18, but... I really should turn my TV down. So it shows you the cinematics, which is pretty cool. So tell me more about Rio. What else did I miss? Oh man, the place is a mess. I mean, too many Covenant Asylum seekers. 
all pinned up. Yeah, the Marco said it was crazy. Well, it could have been worse. So meanwhile, while I'm while I'm going through all this, you know, this is what's going on on my screen. You know, ready to load the game. So pretty cool stuff. Um, you know, the app is free, and it's only going to get better as they develop a little bit more. Um, so gives you some of my, sh you know, my stats, episode one, chapter one. So I just finished chapter one recently, and uh, I guess I played on Heroic. I have no idea. Um, every single person that I was playing with quit the game within like 30 seconds. So I played the whole level by myself. Ended up getting like 87 kills. Um, I don't really understand why I didn't get the achievement for it. Probably because they started the level with me. But whatever. So, you know, this is, uh, this is what this uh, smart glass is all about. And um, it's pretty cool. Uh, it shows you challenges. I've been really excited about this ever since they... Uh, you know, ever since they announced it at E3 a little bit ago. Um, so, um, looking forward to more games integrating it. Obviously, Halo is a uh, an Xbox exclusive. I wonder if it goes, yeah, it, you can only go vertical with it. So, um Obviously, Halo is an Xbox exclusive, so it uh, makes a lot of sense that they're going to integrate it like this. So I'm really looking forward to uh, to more games being integrated and uh, having all this extra, you know, cool features. I mean, I know really this isn't, you know, that big of a deal, but once you start getting this stuff in-game, uh, that's going to be really awesome. So anyway, uh, the My Xbox Live app... Uh, is not my Xbox Live. Uh, the Xbox Smart Glass is what it is now known as, and uh, it is now available on uh, on the iOS. So, uh, as always, thanks for watching. I'm Jay Shockblast, and uh, we will catch you next time. See ya.